All right, show one, show one. Call her lane la. You how about some yo shy about some rakakwadash? Double loves to the elves and the apostles of great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations go to the whole folk net that are scattered abroad. To your brothers out there pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity, and to the aqua, the few sisters that are listening and learning, to you, I say Shawan. Coming back at you with another lesson through the span of power, y'all about Shion Shai. Low willing to edify and defeat the lands of y'all about Shion Shai through the span of Rakakwadash. I pray it's less to be edifying straight to the point. Okay, we're going to jump right into it, man. Okay. And this is actually a quote, okay. All right, from the 1968 movie, The Planet of the Apes, man. I know, I'm quite sure you brothers have seen this, and you few sincere sisters out there, okay, you've seen this, okay, all right, where it says, when, uh, one of the, well, and really the plan, movie, The Planet of the Ace, is actually mocking Jake, man, because they, hey, these elites already know that, hey, Jacob is going to rule next, man, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows, so what they do, they mock Jake in this movie, man, all right, you know, comparing us to damn apes, all right? And, hey, these at least, they know the truth, man. They really do. They know the truth, okay? And so, that's what these devils, that's why they made a movie about that in 1968, all right? And there's been, you know, more sequels to the movie, you know, Planet of the Apes, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, uh, and many more movies, you know, okay? They did a remake. I didn't really like that remake. But the original movie, man, from 1968 that uh, starred that Edomite actor, all right, that also played Moses in the Ten Commandments. I think his name was Charles Charles Henson or some something to the effect that I think that's what his name was. Okay, so without further ado, we're gonna read this. Uh, we're gonna read this, okay? Because hey, this right here is describing Esau Edom to the T, man. Okay, so without further ado, let's read this. It says. Beware of the beast, man. Okay? This is talking about Esau Edom. Okay? For he is the devil's pawn. Along among God's primates. He kills for sport or lust or greed. And exactly. That's what he does, man. This man kills for sport. Okay? Alright? Millions of Israelites have been murdered. Okay? How he got in America? Through rape, robbery, and murder. He killed for lust and greed. This devil is not satisfied. Okay? So without further ado, let's get a scripture. And let's prove that. Alright, we're going to read this little by little, man. Okay? We're going to read that little by little. And hey, we're going to break it down into segments. Okay? This is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not of right in him. This is talking about Esau Edom. But the just shall live by his faith. Verse 5. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. He's always in other nations' businesses, man. Always in somebody's business. Always in another land where he doesn't belong, man. Okay? Who enlarges his desires as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied but gather unto him all nations, and heaveth unto him all people. Verse 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him, and a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his? How long to him that laid himself with thick clay? And that thick clay goes to the Hebrew word abunya, which means heavy debt. America is in huge debt because of this damn devil, man. Okay? Let's get down. Actually, let's read on. Let's read all the way down, okay? Verse 7. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them? Okay, so all these nations are about to get ready to come up against East Lake and the so-called white man. Mainly the elites, man. Okay? So, hey. Daytime is almost up, man. Verse 8. Because thou hast spoiled many nations. <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. And as a matter of fact, let me finish reading this. Because of men's blood, see, did we not read that he's in heart, all right, that he kills for lust, all right, he kills for lust, sport, and greed? Yeah, because of men's blood, man. This man has shed a lot of blood, man, through rape, robbery, and murder, man, okay, through violence, okay. 
and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Verse 9. Woe to him that covereth with an evil covetousness to his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. And that's what this devil believes, man. Nothing can touch him. He think he will never be in adversity. But hey, <laughs> Glory Habashin Yashai is about to, hey, about to prove him wrong. Let's skip down to verse 12, man. Okay? Verse 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and established a city by iniquity. Yeah. How America was God, man. Come on. Okay? Yeah, I cleared that. Let's go to Nahum. Nahum 3 and verse 1. Woe to him. It's so like, woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery, and the prey departeth not. The bloody city is talking about America, Babylon the Great. Okay? Now let's go to Isaiah, chapter 33 and verse 1. Isaiah 33 and verse 1. Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou wast not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. Okay? So, hey, Esau even has spoiled all these nations and dealt treacherously with these nations. So, these nations are about to get ready to come back and, hey, deal with they as the same way, man. Okay? These devils are about to be taken out of power. Okay? Let's uh, go back to the... Let's go back to this. Okay? Back here. Let's read this from the top again. Beware the beast man, for he is the devil's pawn. Along among God's primates, he kills for sport or lust or greed. Yea, he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land. Woo! What scripture comes to mind? Let's get it. Let's get it. Got it in here. Micah 2. And verse 1, Micah chapter 2 and verse 1, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of the hand. Job 9.24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Verse 2, And they cover fields and take them by violence. Esau ain't a man, the so-called white man. And houses, they take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. This describes each saw to a T. Let's go back to the quote, man. Let's go back to this line. Let's read this again. Okay? Yea, he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land. Yeah, rape, robbery, and murder, man. That's how America was gotten. Australia was gotten. England was gotten. Okay, parts of England, German, Scotland. Okay, because Jake ruled in those lands, man. Okay, Jake ruled in those lands, and what these and now these devils came out of the Caucasus Mountains, the caves. All right, during the Renaissance period, which means the rebirth of the Edomite race, man. All right, being back in rulership. Okay, but it was just for a short period of time, though. And hey, we're coming to the close of this devil's kingdom, man. Okay, hey. He's about to fall, okay? So, hey, <laughs> this is talking about Esau to a T. Let's go back to Micah. Let's read this again. Micah 2 and verse 2 again. And they cover fields and take them by violence and houses they and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Verse 3. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, how about she shy? Behold, against this family do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go heartily, for this time is evil. Yeah, they time to pay is on his way, man. Okay? Uh, yeah, let's continue reading on. Verse 4. In that day shall one take up a parable against you, and lament with doleful lamentation, and say, we be utterly spoiled. He hath changed the portion of my people. How hath he removed it from me? Turning away, he hath divided our fields. And that's what this devil's done. Look who's in the land of Israel. 
calling themselves the uh the damn chosen people of the Lord. Excuse my language, man. All right. Ooh, as a matter of fact, let's get that. <laughs> let's get that. Uh, that's let's go here. Ezekiel thirty six and verse two. Yeah, let's read verse thirty two. Thus said the Lord, How about she out shy power? Because the enemy has said against you, Aha! Who goes around saying, Aha! <laughs> Amalek, the small hats, the 1948ers, man. Even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Let's skip down to verse 5. Okay? Who's in the land claiming that they're the people of the Lord, man? The small hats. Okay? Ezekiel 36 and 5. Therefore, thus said the Lord, how about she all shall power? Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia. Idumia is the Greek way for saying Edom. <clears throat> Which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their hearts, with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. Who they cast out, man? The true Israelites, okay? Which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? And we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. We're not in the land, man. But these devils, they're in the land claiming to be us. And as a matter of fact, let's go to Lamentation chapter 5 and verse 2. Yeah. Lamentation chapter 5 and verse 2. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. Yeah. These devils claim to be us, man. All right? And the Holy Land claiming to be us, man. Okay? Let's go back. Let's read on. Let him not breed in great numbers, for he will make a desert of his home and yours. Mm -hmm. Has he not done that? Created false wars and then gone to wars as take uh these nations resource and then trying to push his wicked philosophy did we not read that in Habakkuk 2 and 5 yeah shun him drive him back into his jungle lair which is those caucus and mountains for he is the harbinger of death and he is an harbinger of death man okay we read that in Habakkuk 2 and 5 okay we're gonna come back and read this again man because, hey, this is scribing Esau to a T. Okay? Let's go to now. Let's see. Let's go here. This is Job chapter 30 and verse 8. They were children of fools. Yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. And he, hey, <laughs> this is talking about Esau, even the so-called white man, the Edomite race, man. Okay? And those caucus and mountains. Okay? Let's go to now. Let's go to Obadiah verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Okay? Their numbers are small, man. Okay? Can't reproduce. And they are greatly despised. These nations are now turning on these devils, man. Verse 3. The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the class of the rocks. Who, who dwelled in the class of the rocks, man? Who the children of the base man, the Edomites are, whose habitation is high, that said in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Yeah, that's the pride of Esau, man. Nobody can bring him down, okay? He thinking his kingdom is going to continue forever. No, nah, man, the kingdom is on its way out. Verse 4, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, this will I bring thee down, saith the Lord, and how about shy? Verse 5. If these came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they have had enough? If the great gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some great? No, they wouldn't leave no great, man. They still hit them all, okay? <laughs> Verse 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? And this devil is being exposed through the men of the Lord, man, the prophets. Okay, and let's get a quick scripture on that. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. Straight to the point. Uh, let's start up a little bit. Uh, 
Actually, let's start up in verse 3, and then we're going to read down to verse 8. Okay? Second, Thess Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of prediction. This is talking about Esau, the Edomites, man. Mainly him and like too. Okay? But the rest of the Edomites too. <clears throat> verse 4. Who, is, who opposes it and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he asked God, sent it in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. He wants to be like the Most High. He wants to control you. That's why he's, hey, trying to crash this old system out, okay, and trying to bring in his digital system, okay, his digital implant where you can be monitored, tracked, traced, and controlled, okay, that's what this devil wants to do. But it's all going to come and not. It's all going to fail, man. Okay? Verse 5. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Verse 6. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. He's being revealed. He's already been revealed, man. Okay? The whole world has woken up to who this devil is. Okay? Verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord Yahweh shall, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. He's being revealed by the mouthpiece of the Lord, man. The prophets, the men of the Lord. And hey, when Yahweh returns, he's going to be destroyed by the, hey, the brightness of his coming, man. Okay? Yahusha is coming back to a world that is ruled by Esau Edom. Isaiah the 63rd chapter and Isaiah the 34th chapter, man, makes that very clear. Okay? Let's go to now. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to go and read this. All right, Job 9, 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay? This earth was given into the hand of the wicked. And we already know who the wicked is. Esau, even the so-called white man. Okay? Let's go here. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did is weaken the nations? Okay? And this is talking about the Luciferians, man. The elites. Okay? The elites, man. All right. Verse 13. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh, which is talking about the Israelites. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Yeah. And that's America, man. Okay. Verse 14. I will ascend above the highest of the clouds. I will be like the most high. These devils want to be like you. How about Shai, man? Okay. Verse 15. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the size of the pit. Their glances are going into captivity, starting with the elites, man. Okay? Because the lower Edomites, the lower level Edomites, these patriotic, diehard Edomites, they're going to die on this side. Okay? And they're going to be reborn back into the kingdom as slaves. But the elites, which basically is Amalek, okay? Amalek, the small hats, the rich elites, they're going to be the first fruits of slavery because they're going to escape this uh, destruction, man. They got their doomsday bunkers. They're spending billions and millions of dollars on doomsday bunkers. Okay, so hey, they think they're going to go and hide out, <laughs> all right? But hey, when the men of the Lord getting into those new bodies, man, and the new Jerusalem comes down, man, okay? We're just talking about the men of the Lord, man, 144,000. Hunters going to come in, and they're going to hunt your ass, man. We're going to come in. Lord willing, I'm amongst that, man. Going to go in, those cave bunkers. We're going to grab your ass up, and your ass is going to be the first fruits of slavery, man. All right? Revelation 13, 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints, man. And this is what the men of the Lord are patiently and faithfully waiting for. Okay, this is why we're suffering for the glory. How about Shai? Man, 
making our bodies a living sacrifice, man, day in and day out, doing these daily epistles, okay? All right? Verse 16. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Verse 17. That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not his house of his that opened not the house of his prisoners. Let's go back to that quote, man. Let's go back to it. Let's read it. He says, Let him not breed in great numbers, for he will make a desert of his home in yours. Yeah, he will. With the ICBM nuclear missiles they got, man. All right. Especially during World War II, the atomic bomb. What's that? Uh, what's that? Little man and fat boy, I believe that's the name of those uh, atomic missiles. Those Tommy Bonds, little man and fat boy, made a desert of uh the Japanese man, okay. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, okay. So hey, <laughs> this ain't lying. Is this lying? No, it ain't, man. No. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's go back. Let's read this again, man. Verse sixteen, Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse sixteen. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? During World War II, how did he make the earth to tremble? By dropping little man and fat boy on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, man, during World War II, Japan. That did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness, dropping bombs, going, creating these false wars, the Korean War. And the brother, and I like that lesson that uh, the brother I'm going to bad, the brother GMS and Mafia Ice from you, how and the other brother, you know, they did yesterday, man, all right, telling her how many people were killed in World War II and the Korean War, man. A whole bunch of people lost their lives during World War II and the Korean War, the Vietnam War, man. A lot of people died, man. This devil don't give a fuck about you. You Israelites better wake up, man. And there's going to be a whole lot of people that die in this next war that's coming. That's coming quickly. World War III. And only this time, this war is going to be fought by ICBM nuclear missiles, man. Oh, yeah. It's coming. So, hey. <laughs> so, this devil, he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to destroy the earth now. He had already destroyed the earth. Now, he's trying to go to Mars, man. Destroy it. This devil is not going to achieve what he's trying to do, man. He's going to lose, okay? <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's go down to verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Yeah. So, hey, you devil's got to pay, man. You are your forefathers, okay? Back in reincarnation. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the faces of the world with cities. Okay? Like that quote say, man, drive them back into their jungle lair, which means their caves, man. They're going to they gonna be driven back down to their peasant state, man. Okay? Their glasses are going into a thousand years of hardcore bondage, man. Hardcore slavery. These devils are never going to rule the world ever again, man, in wickedness. This world is about to be ruled in righteousness again through the men of the Lord, man. The Hebrew Israelite man, starting with the hopeful let man. Lord, when we're part of that number. Verse 22, for I will rise up against them, said the Lord, and shall host, and will cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, said the Lord, and shall Verse 23, I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water. I will, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, said the Lord Yahweh Shai. Yeah, that besom of destruction, man. Okay, that destroying wind, man. Them ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay. <clears throat> See what else we got in here? Um. Yeah, let's go here. Revelation chapter eleven and verse eighteen, and the nations were angry. And thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, 
and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them, which destroy the earth. Esau has completely destroyed the earth, man. Okay? And this devil's got to pay. Oh, yes. Let's go here. This is Sirach 10 and verse 8. Or Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. This kingdom is about to be translated out of the hands of Esau Edom into the hands of Jacob, man. Okay? And as a matter of fact, let's get that scripture. Rocky. Second Ezra chapter 6, and I'm going to start at verse 7. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 7. And answer, then answer I and said, What shall be the pardon of the sunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Verse 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? So, hey, we're coming to the conclusion of Esau's rulership, his age. Okay? And we're about to enter into the age of Jacob, man, where Jacob is going to be ruling, man. All right? So, hey, these devils got a short time to rule, man. Okay? Let's go here. Isaiah 26 and verse 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. These devils can't learn righteousness, man. They were tailor-made and fit for destruction. Let's get that. Romans 9 and 21, I believe. Yep. Romans 9 and verse 21. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Okay. And who's the honor vessel? The Israelites are. And who's that vessel of dishonor? The Edomites, okay? Verse 22, what if Yahweh, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessel of wrath fitted to destruction? And these devils are fit to destruction, man, okay? All right? So, let's see anything else I had. Mm, that's pretty much it on that. Let me go back and read this again. Let's read this whole thing, man. All right, and we're going to close it out. <clears throat> Beware the beast man, for he is the devil's pawn. Along among God's primates, he, will, he kills for sport or lust or greed. Yea, he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land. Let him not breed in great numbers. For he will make a desert of his home and yours. Shun him. Drive him back to his jungle lair. For he is the harbinger of death. Let's read it one more time. <laughs> one more time. Let's read it again. Beware the beast man. For he is the devil's pawn. Along among God's primates. He kills for sport or lust or greed. Yea, he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land. Let him not breed in great numbers, for he will make a desert of his home and yours. Shun him, drive him back to his jungle lair, for he is the harbinger of death. You're done, Esau. Double to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, who were well, peace, blessings, and salutations, go to the whole for let that scatter broad. I hope pray this lesson was edifying and straight to the point, man. Till next time, Shalom, Kwam Yashamrala, Wild Baba Ball, D T A A Baba Ball, the Abad Adawam, real soon, man. Lord willing. Next time, I say Shalom, man. Shalom to next time. Shalom.